Hello and welcome back to our final episode here in the Red Tree Gardens. And the last episode, we went on a tour on the Gyrosphere to see the mysterious Scorpius Rex. And this episode, we're gonna travel what's behind those trees. But before I'm gonna go and get started, Today is July 3rd, um, this is when I'm recording, and tomorrow is going to be July 4th, so happy 4th of July to everyone, and I will notice this, because I keep stressing out over this, please, 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 if you do have any dogs or any other pets, keep them inside, they don't like the loud noises. I do have some couple dogs and cats of my own and they do get frightened so please please keep them inside where it's safe where they couldn't hear any loud noises and do enjoy your 4th of July with your family with your friends have a good time and yeah happy 4th of July and let's continue to this showcase our final showcase here in the red tree gardens and we're just going to pop here it's another nice view of this huge habitat with a bunch of carnivores and herbivores consist of monolophosaurus carnotaurus oranosaurus and ankylosaurus so four dinosaurs here and I you know what you guys are thinking, where are the Tyrannosaurus, where are the Spinosaurus, Triceratops, this and that. Well, anyways, I didn't want to add those dinosaurs in this park just because when I used to play back in the Xbox, I always add them in every other of my parks and I wouldn't neglect the dinosaurs nobody would ever use such as the Myosaurus or the Aranosaurus or the monolophosaurus so i'm trying to mix them up every dinosaurs in every park that i make anyways we're well, not gonna go through there that's just a viewing area but we're just gonna go past here to our walkway path and we're just gonna go and i'm just gonna talk about the the second part of our red tree gardens this is becoming more of a garden park than an actual camp park where we just started. But anyways, here it is. Jurassic World Red Tree Gardens. So I just want to make this feel like one big walkway path around the area. Like looking at the dinosaurs on your left side while you're looking at a nice garden display on the right side and it's very very busy here in this nice afternoon park we have a guest who actually loved it but they are complaining about amenities <laughs> um but I, i'm probably gonna try to put some here and there um i don't really care about the amenities you know like they're all the same they're all boring <laughs> no i hope we do have more customization more colors this and that to actually make our amenities much more nicer and easier to view at but here let's start with these arches now my idea was to have arches around this little walkway <laughs> but i got so tired of Putting it, it's a long walkway, so I decided to put lamps instead. But maybe in my future park someday, I'm just gonna make an arch all the way around a nice walkway. So this is just a little glimpse of what will it look like. And I do really love this type of um, display in my little park. It, it looks very intimidating, I must say, just walking past it. But Anyways, we're just going to keep going to our first display here. We're just going to walk over 
this nice area. There's a little seating area here because it's just a, it's a long walk. So might as well just take a breather here and there. But look at this. I don't know. I don't know why I built this. <laughs> there is no meaning to it. It's, it looks like a, a nice little place to have a little wedding, you know. There's the seating area over here and saying your vows here right in front of the <laughs> the dinosaurs. But it looks nice. It really looks nice. It looks like a you know, you take a picture here and there. That looks really crooked. I gotta fix that. But our little garden display. Little one showcase. There's plenty more. But you know, right here in the left you know I, I swear I did put some dinosaurs here there should be a bunch of Aranosaurus here and there you just don't see it right now but they're there um, more of the whole garden now this is not supposed to look like a path it's just look like some sort of decoration that I just pop in I don't think no one should ever walk in here it's not connected to any type of path but there's this little fountain. Just plant any decorations, some trees, some flowers, just to look pretty. Again, this is like the Red Tree Gardens. It's not only a park, not only a camp, but it's also a little garden um, for the guests to view and to look at. Um, another thing that I want this game to have is more decorations, more flowers, more trees. The redwood, the redwood, I'm sorry. The red trees actually put a lot of color in it. I really love this, this map because of this tree. Downside is these trees are only available in this map and not any other map. So let's say if you choose Germany, for example, you ain't going to get these trees, which is a shame. And I'm really hoping in the next update or DLC or whatever, we do get these trees in every of our maps. Here's our little fountain. Just add a fountain over there. It <laughs> really doesn't any mean anything. But we'll just keep walking. So more. This Oh, they could walk here. Okay. I, I don't think they could even walk here because it's a very small little path and there's decorations all over but they could walk here that's nice oh, so there's another path over here our little fountain I love the fountains just add fountains here and there so a little structure thing I think this is a dominion Thick decor, but I like to think that this is a statue of, let's say, John Hammond, the founder of Jurassic Park. Do I have my flashlight on? I think I have my flashlight on. How do I turn off? Oh, yeah, I do have my flashlight on. Oh, I totally forgot uh, that I have my flashlight on. I was, I did work on this at night just to see how the lights work, and I have my flashlight on, so... But there's our little dinosaur, um, Spinosaurus skeleton. Hope we do get more. We need more skeletons like this. And oh, little, another viewing gallery there. That's not finished. I'm not done with that. That should look a lot more prettier than it looks. But let's just squeeze. Can I squeeze in here? No, oh, you can't squeeze in here. Oh, right here. Let's just go into the little habitat I really do want to make this habitat not just like an enclosure but like in the wild so like the the habitats we made earlier with the paras and the um, the therizinosaurus habitat they're not connected to any sort of fence whatsoever I want to feel like this is their natural wild habitat with no human interactions whatsoever except for you know the path up here so that's what I want to base it that's how I want to base in all of my parks actually I don't like 
dinosaurs stuck in cages. I don't know why. It just doesn't feel right to me. So here's our, our first dinosaur. Here's the Oranosaurus. This is the Camp Cretaceous skin. It's much different than the original design of the game has. They have more of a sail. See the details of the skin. The details of the skin. It's really, really nice. And these are more aquatic dinosaurs. So you see them putting their heads in the water, sniffing to see any rocks, food. They're pretty much grazers here. They love spending time more in the water. I don't know how, how much I have here. I could have sworn I have a lot of them. You'll see them just grazing. Spending time as much in water as possible. So there's our Oranosaurus. And you can, if you could see in the distance all the way there, there's our armored dinosaur. Our Ankylosaurus. Again, I try to make the environment fit the dinosaurs that I see them. For example, Ankylosaurus, I always picture them in rocky mountain environment. I don't know why. Maybe because they're armored dinosaurs, but... I always picture them like living in some sort of dry oasis so which is why the habitat is more hilly more rocky and here's our ankylosaurus based on again camp cretaceous this is the bumpy skin I'm really hoping Bumpy is going to be in season five. Like, if you haven't seen the episode, um, the episode, the series, Camp Cretaceous is on Netflix. It's a really good show, despite being a children's show. It's really, really good. Where are you going, buddy? You want some water? Am I in your way? <laughs> Go ahead. The little guy looks like he's lost. <laughs> Anyways, I have two of them. Or three, I'm not sure. So there's our little bumpy here. Let's keep going. There we have some wild goats around the area. Oh, and here it is. Our carnivores. I really do love mixing carnivores and herbivores in habitats. Again, I want to feel like it's natural and not felt like they're enclosed. So having carnivores and herbivores do mean that this is a wild area. Problem with that though, if you have your feeders and your water on, which I usually do, the herbivores do tend to panic. And I'm just going to race over here because we're going to have a kill there. Ooh, he threw that go. Oh. Oh, spit that goat out. Aw. Rest in peace. Now he's running. I want to chase him. Where is he going? Oh, I guess he doesn't like that goat. You saw that he got him in his mouth and then he threw it back up. I guess he wants some... What? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm curious. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, he killed... Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. The other one was a fail. <laughs> was a fail a hunt. I guess, I'm assuming, or this is just, he just wants to kill goats, I don't know, but anyways, this is our Carnotaurus, um, this is again, based on the Camp Cretaceous skin, um, the Toro one, drinking a lot of water, I love this, um, design, has those devil horns, He was the big baddie in season one of Camp Cretaceous. And 
I don't know if you guys seen it. Here it is. We have our fourth and final dinosaur here, the Monolophosaurus, and they are panicking. So, like I said, it's if you do have feeders on and you have a small little enclosure with these two carnivores, the small carnivores have a hard time eating. They start to panic and they will just starve to death or, you know, they can't even drink any water because they'll die of dehydration. I'm hoping that would be fixed. I really do want these dinosaurs to coexist. If you even if you have um, feeders on, I mean, if you have them off, it really doesn't matter. They do tend to panic, but they will not die of starvation or hydration. But I always love to have feeders on. It just feels natural for them to eat and drink. Having them walk around like aimlessly at nothing, it do it do tend to be boring. And I just want them to have a little personality. So here's our, our Monolophosaurus. And those are our dinosaurs. Yeah, I know there's no T-Rex here. There's no Spinosaurus or Brachiosaurus. I do have a collection of dinosaurs here in my park. Again, I just love to mix um, my dinosaurs in my parks. Um, that, that way, I would not neglect any dinosaurs. In my, when I used to play in, in my Xbox, I would have like 10 different parks with all the same dinosaurs. T-Rex, Triceratops. I don't have any Myasaura, Synthau, Momenchi, this and that. And I know it's it's mostly my fault. I could add them if I want to. I tend to forget. <laughs> Though we have a good collection here. We have Diplodocus. We have um, those Gallimimus. I totally forgot those Gallimimus name in my other park. Um, Oranosaurus, Monolophosaurus. So a good variety of these dinosaurs. In the next park, we could add those famous dinosaurs that people love. But yeah, here's the habitat. It's a very big habitat. It's it's huge and hopefully like it doesn't the dinosaurs will not panic too much where I get that annoying <laughs> notification. Oh, your dinosaur is dying. <laughs> they don't have food. But um let's look at our view. My profit rating grew 3% this much. That's really good. And here it is. That's it. This is my habitat for our last final dinosaur yeah it's it's a big habitat they shouldn't be any worrying of having no food or water it's a little swampy a little rocky you know has it has everything for my ankylosaurus for my ranosaurus for my carnivores here and there might add some more um foliage later down the line but this is it this is i mostly focus more on making this look nicer than my habitats but I but next time I'm gonna make my habitats more nicer um, let's see how what it looks like at night or at dusk dusk looks darker at night for some reason it has some lights there's no lights in the habitat might add some lights there but yeah, it's pretty decent some lights here and there might add more later on but there it is there's my final park i'm gonna add a time lapse at the end of this video it's for those who are interested in watching the time lapse yep and i decided to add a time lapse at the end i feel like that would be more suitable than adding in the beginning a lot of people including myself you know get bored of watching a time lapse but some are interested of how i built my parks so a time lapse is there for them but anyways if you do enjoy this 
vi uh, video of my build. I'm gonna do a tour around the park. But this is the Red Tree Gardens. I really had fun building this park. And I'll see you in the tour video um, whenever I uploaded it. Um, but until next time, hope you guys enjoy that video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.